Welcome to episode number six of Retrofit Roundup. For this one, we have the Hornet by ILAC on the, the left, going up against the PB-8 by Al on the right. And let's get it started. Laser boat already on the move. But, uh, those shells that you can see, they're moving at, uh, at over 1600 meters per second. So they, uh, actually fast enough to hit, <laughs> whereas uh, slower shells might not. Uh, on the other hand, they are getting zapped by the lambs. Just in time, it seems. Uh, close enough, there might be some residual damage, but not... Well, seems like there may be some fragments coming in. Well, that is one thing. Uh, smaller APS shells are harder to detect. Or, uh, well, I'm not sure if harder is the correct word there. Uh, they get detected closer. Which means there's there's less time for the, um, the lambs and other defenses to actually do anything. Uh, that doesn't seem to be a problem here. Maybe it's just me, but I, I've got a little bit of an opinion that uh, lambs are a little too good at their aim. Basically, in the fact that they never miss, there, there's... There's no detectable or visible uh, margin of error. Like, well, yes, I do understand that, but it'd be nice, like, if one out of every 10 shots missed. Eh. But, you know, that's me. That's just personal opinion. Still, let's see how the laser's doing against the, um, the BB-8. Which is down on HP, but surprisingly not by a whole lot. That outer hull, the ablative armor has soaked up a lot of damage. And of course the, uh, the laser being as spastic as, as ever. It's, it's not really carving deep into any one portion of the... <gasps> Excuse me, of the ship. <laughs> Pardon me.
I like the rowboat there with the oars inside. That's some fine detail. Well, the BB-8's suddenly gunned down. Seems like a lot more HP in the last couple minutes. The Hornet, surprisingly, not unscathed. It's, um... It looks like Swiss cheese. Like actual Swiss cheese. Rather than holes everywhere, but yeah, the fragments have not done nothing. They've they've done non-zero damage, <laughs> non-zero amounts. Whoa, that is weird to look at. Blurry image. Oof, okay. <laughs> Approaching time, about 30, a little over 30 seconds left. Uh, the Hornet definitely in the lead. But the margin of victory, not huge. As you, uh, as you might expect in an uh, attorney with such freedom in, in weapon choice. And that's time. Uh, so it's 99.1 to the Hornet versus uh, 94 even for the BB-8. Let's see how the next round goes. We have had one match, after all, where it did swing in the second round. I see a little, I saw a little EMP burst there. I'm gonna guess that one of the shells actually got through. Oh, and that's, well, that's a rudder gone. Will that affect the match? Well, there are these other uh, rudders here, so probably not. Good snipe, though.
However, that has uh, kept the score very, 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 very even. Um, and it's only now it's starting to pull away again, but losing the rudder evened it up for a little while there. Hmm. Now I'm a, a bit, uh, a little bit out of the loop on um, current niche effects of the game. I'm not sure if lasers do uh, any amount of kinetic damage. If they do, then the angle that the ship is at with the, all the deep sloping would be cutting down on the laser damage, but that that might not be the case. Uh, I forget off the top of my head what kind of damage lasers do. I know, I know. It's, it's, it feels like it's been that long for me. You leave for like a, a season and suddenly everything's different. the Hornet uh, doing more damage this round. Still 3 minutes 30 seconds to go and uh, the HP on the BB-8 is lower than it was at the end of the first round. Or first, yeah. First fight. Neoming off into the distance. And it looks like the battleship is sinking. This does not bode well. Uh, it is actively going down. Even though it's above 80%, if it hits...
Well, I didn't actually set a minimum depth, so it may survive to the end. But it's it's not going to be pumping out any more damage this way. I do not think that those shells are super calves, so. And again, are they? They might just have enough velocity that it kind of doesn't matter. Heck, for all I know, they might actually have an advantage down there because the lambs won't shoot them. Provided they can effectively hit the target. Which I don't see happening. Try and find it. There we are. And that's time. Huh. <laughs> well, um, way to fight until the bitter end. I think the, uh, the crew here is going to have some wet socks. Eh. So, final score. The, uh, Hornet here by Alak, 97.8. And the BB-8, 91 even. So... This particular match goes to the Hornet by ILAC. Uh, congratulations there. And until the next fight, as ever, enjoy.